Good morning, Bayside. Merry Christmas. Let's worship together.
song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one. Oh
Good morning, Bayside family. We're so glad that you're joining us on this Christmas morning. Uh, we hope that you have had a beautiful morning so far with your family and have joined us for a great time of worship. Thank you to our band for this uh, beautiful worship they provided this morning. And now if you'll join me as we move into uh, a message and just share a few thoughts this morning. And as you're following along, make comments online so others can see that you're there. Uh, greet our, our church family online. And uh, we'll just enjoy this time that we share together this morning uh, for this beautiful Christmas morning of 2022. So hear the words of the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 through 9. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all of her sins. A voice of one calling, in the wilderness, prepare for the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are like grass, and their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers, and the flowers fail, because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. You who bring good news to Zion, go up high on a mountain. You who bring news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up and do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. Let's pray together this morning. God, we thank you for giving us this gift of the Lord Jesus Christ. We come before you with wonder and delight that you have come to us in the child born in the manger. Be with us on this day of birth and rebirth. God, come honor us with the, the glory of your presence, of your gracious spirit. Fill our hearts with renewed hope and new joy. As we say together this morning, Lord, glory in the highest. Yes, glory in the highest. We praise you this morning. We ask all these things in Christ's name. Amen. On the Christmas morning, we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, not just his birth, but the celebration of his life and all that means to us as believers. But sadly, this morning, there'll be people all across this uh, state, this county, uh, this world, the United States, and throughout the parts of the world that will not celebrate for the reasons that we celebrate today. They may not understand uh, the, the reasons that we celebrate Christmas. Yes, they're celebrating Christmas today. They're, they're doing the gifts, they're doing the food, they're doing those things, but they're not celebrating truly uh, this reason that we celebrate as Christians during the season. They won't think about the importance of the birth of Christ and, and all that his life has meant to us as believers and down through human history. Just think about this, a little over 2,000 years ago that Jesus was born in Bethlehem and you know the, the Bible story that he was born, uh, this virgin birth, uh, born to Joseph and Mary, and he was placed in this manger, and, 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 and then he lived his life. And the, the Bible tells us that 33 years later, he was crucified, and that he took the punishment for our sin. He died, and the scripture tells us that three days later, he rose, and he conquered the power of sin and death. And today, yes, we are celebrating this birth and this, this, this coming of the Savior, and it's a celebration this morning that Jesus has come as King and Savior, that he came to save us from our sin, that he came to bring us peace from God, that he's come to this world that each of us can be forgiven and be reconnected to our Father. And we celebrate this truth this morning, this truth of Emmanuel, that God is with us. And this is the reason today for our celebration. It's not just about the gifts that maybe you've already wrapped or about to unwrap this morning. It's not just about the food and the celebrations that we're gonna have. The main reason that we celebrate as believers this morning is that God has come through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And this this morning is what makes Christmas special to us. It's what makes it personal and relevant to our lives today, that God has come to us. And when we put our, put our, when we put our trust in Jesus, the one who's came to save us, we are saved from an eternity without God. Man, what a beautiful thought this morning that we celebrate Christmas today because God has come to us in this human form of Jesus Christ that we could live eternity with God our Father in heaven. Listen to the words of John 3, 16 and 17. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son 
that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And verse 17 says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That's just another reminder of his promise this morning, that God sent his Son that we could be saved. That this birth that we celebrate, this Christmas season we celebrate, is about the sending of God's Son that you and I might be saved. Let's personalize this verse for just a moment. Listen to this and how it, how it rings different this morning. For this is how God loved me, that he gave his only son, that by me believing in him, I will not perish, but have eternal life. And then God sent his son into the world, not to condemn me, but to save me through him. Wow, see the way that sounds this morning? It's different that God has come to save me, that he's come to save you, that he's come to save all of us, that he's with us and prepared this way for us to be with him. See, this morning, the message of Christmas is love. If you're sitting in a room this morning with your family, turn to them and say, I love you. Turn to your other one and say, I love you this morning. See, it's about love. The Christmas message is about love. It's the love of God for you and me. The birth of Jesus Christ explains this love of God. It demonstrates this love of God. It shows how much God loved you and how much he loved me and how he wanted to be reconnected to us. And see, today at Christmas, we're meant to celebrate this love. We're meant to celebrate the fact that God loves us. Christmas should remind us today of how unimaginable the love of God is, how unfathomable the love of God is, how absolutely incredible the love of God is, that God sent his one and only son to save us. See, this morning, the truth is this. This is the greatest love the world has known or will ever know. This love of God is the greatest love that an individual could know or ever come to know. The love of God. This Christmas, God wants you to know that he loves you. This morning, if you're sitting there and you're just thinking about all the things that come along with the season. For, for many of us, it's such a joyful time. For others of us, it's a difficult time because of things that have happened around the season. But no matter where you find yourself this morning, remember that this Christmas, God wants you to know how much he loves you, that his love is for you, and he is for you today. And he wants you to experience joy from this love. It doesn't matter what you're facing. It doesn't matter what you've been through. You can still have the joy that comes from the love of God, the joy that wells up within us from the love of God. And he wants to celebrate this love. He wants you to celebrate his love for you. And you say, okay, how can we celebrate the love of God today? Well, I want to give you a couple things this morning. First, you can celebrate his love by being a demonstration of his love. There's many ways you can do this. You can give, be his love by loving others as he's loved you, by sharing that love today and throughout uh, this holiday weekend as you interact with other people, of, of just walking in love and sharing that love. Uh, you can also give gifts as a demonstration of his love, just like Christ was given by God as a gift to this world. You can give gifts to others as a demonstration of his love. You can uh, share the real reason of the season with other people by telling about the love of God, sharing your testimony with others about what God has done in you and through you and how God uh, has done incredible things in your life. See, this Christmas, we've come to celebrate that the Messiah has come, that he's been born, that he stepped out of eternity and into the form of a human baby, that God has come through Jesus Christ. Today, church tradition says that we celebrate Christmas on December 25th. The actual specific day and spot of the birth of Jesus are really not known or really that important this morning. What is important, Lee, what is important that we all remember is that the birth of Christ did happen, that the life of Christ did take place, that Jesus did come in this human form and live his life and walk on this earth just as you and I live and walk on this earth. He was born, he lived, and he died, and he died for you and I. See, we know it was in the evening. We know it was in a town called Bethlehem. We know what happened uh, in the stable. We know that there was no room in the inn. We know that he was born, and we know he was wrapped, and we know that he was placed in a manger. This is where the Son of God was born. And it's also where the reality of the Savior became real for the world. Where the reality of the world took place through the birth of the Savior, Jesus Christ. And when Christ was born, the hope of the world was born. When Christ came to us in this first coming, 
The hope of the world came to us through Jesus Christ. Our hope, the hope of the world. And because Christ came this morning, we can celebrate that God is always near us. He's always for us. He's always in us. He's always near us. The certain hope of Christmas is that God sent his only son, Jesus, to bear our burdens and to save us from our sins. And this morning, Christmas means this, is that we have a Savior, that God is with us through Jesus Christ. So this morning, let's celebrate together and thank God the Savior and thank Jesus Christ for being that Savior and that the Savior has come to this world. So I'd like to, show, to share a couple of scriptures with you this morning as I close up our time together. John 1, 1 and 4 says this, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and He was with God in the beginning. And through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Listen to John 1, 14 through 17. It says, The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory and the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and full of truth. John testified concerning him. He cried out saying, this is the one I spoke about when I said, he who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Out of his fullness, we all have received grace in the place of grace already given. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Wow, what an incredible story this morning that Jesus has come for you and has come for me. That God is with us through the work of Jesus Christ. And we celebrate that coming this morning, this wonderful coming to earth, this wonderful life that Jesus Christ lived, this wonderful giving of himself on the cross of Calvary, this, this acknowledgement of his death and the conquering of death in the grave through the power of Jesus Christ through the work of the Holy Spirit. Man, what an incredible story this morning as we celebrate this Christmas. I hope that you're celebrating in love that you're sharing the love and the life that Jesus Christ has given to you and that you're able to share that life and that love with others as you celebrate this holiday season. Can we pray together this morning? God, we thank you for your incredible love for us. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who gave his life up on a cross for us. But Lord, we're thankful this Christmas morning as we celebrate the coming of the Savior, as we celebrate this birth and this life that Jesus lived here on this earth. And God, I pray this morning that as we are watching in our homes today and we're, we're surrounded by family and we're, we're sitting here enjoying the celebration, Lord, that it would just become more real to us than it's ever been, that Jesus Christ has come so that we could experience your love, Father. God, I pray today, whatever anyone that is watching this broadcast this morning faces, whatever situation they're dealing with this morning, whatever joy, whatever pain, whatever they're in triumph this morning or whether they're in trial, that, God, you would remind them that you're always with them, that you are Emmanuel, God with us. And, Lord, I pray this morning that it would just sit deep in our spirits this morning, that it would rest deep in our heart today. Oh, and Lord, that as you just continue to speak to us about your love and your desire for us to be the love of Jesus Christ to this world. God, we bless you this morning. We magnify you. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, for us. Thank you, Jesus, that you came and you walked this, word, this earth and you lived this life and you gave up your life so that we could be reconnected to God, our Father. Lord, that's our hope this morning. Jesus Christ is the hope of this world. We bless you this morning, Lord. We magnify you. We pray it all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. This morning, hear the blessing as you wrap up this time that we share together. Proclaim the good news. The word of God dwells among us. The light of God shines in the world. Sing his praises. Make his glory known. Shout for joy. Celebrate the hope and the promise of this day. And go in the peace that God places in your hearts. Now may the glory and the love of God surround you. May the peace and grace of Christ dwell within you. And may the power and presence of the Holy Spirit uphold you in this Christmas season. We love you here at Bayside Church. We bless you. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Remember next week our service will be online again at the same time at 10 a.m. Uh, reach out to your friends and family. Invite them to join us. And we hope that God blesses you. And we hope you have a wonderful week. Again, God bless you. We love you. Have a great weekend.